Hello and welcome to the WIHS Journal, Public Affairs from 104.9 FM. I'm Paul Kretschmer. This is the second of two days of broadcast conversation with Jay Shabacker, who's written a book called Scientific Challenges to Evolutionary Theory, his study of science and faith put together. Every fossil in this earth is less than 50,000 years old. Well, that's just one example of what we scientists have found out and, uh, and why uh, evolutionists will not debate scientists anymore because the scientists know so much. Dr. Dwayne Gish is in my book, yeah. and uh, he presented a, a very much information, and it was all right on about uh, creation. And uh, the evolution is trying to uh, debate Dr. Dwayne Gish. They lost each debate, so they ended up saying, we're not going to debate anymore. And uh, there's many things uh, God has shown us, but the, one, of the, one of the big differences, the evolutionists uh, driven by the devil don't want to admit anything because it's their religion, what they're arguing about. Yeah, it is a religion and to them, isn't it? They, they don't want to admit there was a global flood. We, we know there's a global flood, and that changed the earth. And uh, the evolutionists don't. And by the way, in my book, I call out 500 observations all over the earth of people that talk about the global flood of Noah's family and descendants. They talked about the global flood. Generation to generation, people talked about the global flood to their kids. And pretty soon, all over the world, they were talking about it and writing about it. 500 observations all over the world. All, uh, that kind of stuff is in the book, a lot of general information uh, besides the uh, scientific stuff and later on uh, a little a call to action. But, but what, what got me very interested in it, and uh, back in my day, you didn't have to lock your front door. There, there was not a lot of crime or robbery in many, many years ago. Um, but like I say, uh, the devil took hold of the origin of species by Charles Darwin, and then pretty soon they said evolution is a science. Evolution is taught in the schools, and we were getting in trouble. And nowadays... We're so we're smart. We see the tie between evolution teaching and the negative social consequences of the evolution teaching in the school. Uh, I've been showing a graph to people that says back in 1940, only four percent of the uh, of the births were in uh, unwed by unwed ladies. Now, the births in the United States, 40% of those births are from unwed ladies. So the atheism is shown to people through the uh, public schools, uh, rise of unwed childhood. Drug abuse has gone up exponentially. Social violence secular humanism, animal-like behavior. They believe there's no moral compass. And so everybody locks their doors now, fires, uh, hires policemen in the schools, and we wonder what happened. Well, it's, it's the scourge of this, this atheism brought in by uh, evolutionary teaching. So we have to do something about it. It's not just the... Uh, a, 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 a theoretical debate. It's a debate to save the country by saving our children. Would you say that when we eliminate through our lack of nurturing in God's Word that we reduce people to, how should we say it, animals? Because the spiritual nature of them 
that God placed there at the, at their birth is no longer present, and so they run wild by being reduced to the to the lowest common denominator. Yes, that's it, and and, and it's going to take a while to turn it around. Mm-hmm. But I, I think the the the, uh, the people have to realize that is our problem. Uh, the problem is not the gun. The problem is is the is the is the lack of uh, any kind of morality here mm-hmm. getting worse but maybe we can stop it if we if we uh, work with the uh, governors work with the uh, school principals school boards to see if, to see if we could at least get uh, some discussion of of a uh, creationary theory creation theory mm-hmm. alongside of evolutionary theory in schools mm-hmm. so the kids don't come home from school completely confused. As far as your uh, website, creationclass.org, what are you offering to people in terms of information or knowledge or action points uh, within your website then, sir? Well, uh, there's there's an action uh, to be done to, to learn uh, all, all the situation in front of us. Uh, the action has to be from the from the uh, Christians mm-hmm. to uh, come come to a support of changing this. Did there there is to be uh, some kind of uh, Cal Thomas says uh, there's an apathy in Christianity. Now the uh, a little while ago there were people all over the streets talking about global warming. Big, big deal, global warming. But there's never people talking about, let's talk about creation. In other words, we're just knocking, not working about it. Uh, Cal Thomas said, uh, we live as practical atheists. Mm. Do we write letters to the editor to express our viewpoints? Do we attend public school board meetings and voice our concerns? No, that's the problem. He says secular humanism isn't the ultimate enemy. We are. We could use a little less noise about evil secular humanists and a lot more involvement by our own people in our own country. As the comic strip uh, friend Pogo once observed, yeah. we... We have met the enemy, and he is us. <laughs> that, that's the thought that, 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 that crossed my mind as you were describing what Cal Thomas had to say, that's for sure. Yes. Are people well, too, are, are, in your view, sir, are people too afraid of what other people will think if they, if they take their Christian faith and step forward with it? Do they just want to go along to get along? I, I, think, the, uh, I, I think the devil has... Uh, Achieved his goal. Mm. Uh, his goal is to is to inhibit our thought, and uh, he he's done it. And you're right. People don't want to talk out talk about it. They don't want to be criticized by anyone on the other side of the other side of the aisle. Uh, but there's people, uh, the organizations now trying to do something about it. Thank you very much for the time that you've made available out of your personal day to speak with me and for listeners here in Connecticut and Western Massachusetts, Jay. Yes, it's my pleasure. My guest on yesterday and today's WIHS Journal has been Jay Shabacker, author of the book Scientific Challenges to Evolutionary Theory, Faith and Science Intersecting. For further information, call us at 860-346-1049. That's 860-346-1049. The opinions expressed are those of the participants, not necessarily those of the staff or management of the station. I'm Paul Kretschmer on the WIHS Journal, Public Affairs from WIHS, Middletown.